This is going to be probably quite a long haul. This is from Sephora. I have a couple other hauls, but I'm going to do them separate. I went there three different times. I'm not really sure why I've been spending so much time there. I guess it's just because there was things that I wanted. But anyway, the first time I went, I essentially wanted to get some glitters. Unfortunately, for whatever reason, they weren't really selling any, like at all. So I ended up getting something else, but the sales associate was trying to help me find a foundation. And she did this color match thing. They take a like a scanning device and hold it to different areas of your face and neck to color match you according to some software they use. I'm not really sure. But the weird thing about it is I found out that I'm a completely different skin tone, like undertone, than I thought. I always thought I was uh, pink toned, or a pink undertone, whatever you want to call it. But I actually have yellow undertone, which is like crazy because I never thought I did. But I did the first time I was wearing my BB cream because I really wear it anytime I go out, especially if I'm wearing makeup, which I was. And I thought maybe, and this might sound weird or whatever, but I thought maybe because, you know, I was wearing the BB cream and the one that I wear has higher coverage than most, that maybe it was affecting the readings in the scanner. Because, you know, she did ask if I was wearing any makeup. So I thought maybe it was messing with the results or something. But I actually went back, I think it was the third time, and had them color match me again, but this time I wasn't wearing any makeup at all to make sure that the results were like genuine and it matched me the same. So that is very interesting. So I'm not cool complected, I guess. I'm warm complected. I'm just very pale and have, you know, red tones to my skin, which I guess is why I thought I had pink undertone. But neither here nor there, it was just very shocking to me. But she color matched me and gave me a few different results as to like what foundations would work for me. And she recommended the Urban Decay Naked Skin or whatever it is, the 0.5, which is the lightest shade. And the color match was decent, but it was still not like completely. I don't know, it, was just, it just looked off. I don't know if it was the finish or the color or a combination of the both. But I didn't like it, and it really settled into all my dry patches, my lines. Because I don't really have wrinkles, like, everywhere. I just have them mainly around my eyes. And I don't know if that's common or not, if people have wrinkles elsewhere. But I'm really dry around my eyes, and that's why I have wrinkles. So it just made them stick out really badly. It was uncomfortable to wear. I just didn't like it. So I ended up having to go back to return it. But while I was on the first uh, trip, or whatever you want to call it, I did get this product that I'm wearing right now. I'm actually wearing two different products, but you can't really see the one, so I'll talk about the one you can see first. And it's the Obsessive Compulsive Cosmetic Lip Tar. This is a metallic one, and I'll take it out of the packaging because you can't really see it through it. But it's in the color Techno Pagan. And it's from their fall 2014 collection. So I do believe that this color is limited edition. And the lighting is not doing it justice. But it's absolutely gorgeous. It is kind of an out there kind of color. Some people not, might not be comfortable wearing this. At all. Or outside of like Halloween time. Because you know it is October officially as of today. I personally don't care. I'll wear whatever I want whenever I want to. But it is kind of gothic looking I guess but I don't really care about that but I think it's gorgeous it's like a dark it's supposed to be a dark purple but I don't know it looks very blue it's like a dark blue purple color and it has purple like metallic shimmer in it but it's really 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 pretty I'd highly recommend looking at swatches online because it's what actually made me want to get the product but I am wearing it currently and I'm not the best in like lip product application because up until recently I didn't really buy lipsticks or anything like that because I have a small mouth and it's just kind of hard to 
apply the lipstick, let alone have it stay in place and look decent. I don't know, it's just weird. But anyway, I believe this was $18. They're kind of expensive, but you really literally have to you use like a drop of the product and it covers your entire lip. So if you wear lip products a lot or just like the color, I would recommend getting it. And it comes with a little brush and then, you know, this little pouch and an application guide and the ingredients, all that crap. So I really like this product and I liked it so much I actually went back to get another product, which I'll get to in a minute. But yeah, I really like that one. And then I got a lip primer as well because... I have like very dry lips as well so again I have a lot of lines in my lips so wearing something like a lip tar or any kind of drier formula really accentuates the lines in my lips and it just looks horrible so I figured I would try a lip primer and the sales associate again and there's my cat she was scratching on the door it was driving me nuts anyway I got this Bite Cosmetics Lip Primer. It's the Line and Define Lip Primer. It essentially looks just like a, if you've ever tried the e.l.f. lip lock pencil, except it's a little bit, the packaging is a little bit larger. But I think, you know, as far as what the actual product looks like, it looks like the same amount of product. Except one's like a different color and everything, but you can tell I mean it looks essentially the same so it's like the same kind of concept I guess as the elf one I can't really compare them too much because I haven't tried this out a hell of a lot but I can tell you that this bite one well outside of being a lot more expensive it was like 21 or 22 dollars but you are getting a lot of product because I was looking at the makeup forever one they have a clear lip liner as well but that one was the same size as like a standard lip liner and was like either $14 or $18. So I figured for the extra money, I might as well get the bigger product and this way I can fill in my entire lip instead of doing like a lip line type thing. And as far as like the formula, it's similar to like a Revlon, a Revlon balm stain because it does have like a slight peppermint feel to it but it's not as strong as the Revlon and it's a little bit more tacky like it's not as balmy as the Revlon balm it's more I don't know stiff I don't know it's hard to describe but I don't know like it's okay I do notice a difference like I'm wearing it under the lip the, the lip tar I do notice a difference when I use it opposed to when I don't but I'm not sure if it's worth the money or not yet. I don't really know. But it is a... I think it's retractable. Oh. Yeah, there we go. It's got a sharpener built into the bottom. And then it's retractable by up here. But I don't know. It's okay. I'll probably do an updated video down the line. And then I got this lipstick. This is the Sephora brand, which I've never tried a Sephora brand lipstick before. And it's the Rouge from the Rouge line, and it's called Can Can. And it's a nice red. Sales Associate also helped me with this. And it's kind of pink tone, I guess. I don't really know. But it's pretty nice. The formula is decent. This was, I think, $11, and it smells nice. It smells like, uh, it smells like grapeseed oil, if you've ever smelt that, but, uh, I don't know. It's nice, and I don't know that it's necessarily worth the money. Like, it's kind of comparable to, like, a, like a Maybelline, those color sensational but it's not like the same formula, but it's among the lines of like quality. Like it's decent, but I don't know. I wasn't like completely thrilled with it. And then I got a little sample. It was like the points thing. Like if you're a Sephora insider, you get points. And I got this. It's this 
philosophy time in a bottle for eyes it looks like that it's just the under eye cream and then she gave me a couple samples of primer for my face along with a tinted moisturizer by NARS which was one of the color match suggestions by that machine and the NARS one actually feels really nice on the skin and I liked it a lot better than the Urban Decay the only problem was it provided like no color no coverage whatsoever which you know it is a tinted moisturizer so it's not really gonna provide much but it really didn't provide any so I don't really see the point but it's in the color Finland again the palest shade it looks like that and it's also really expensive it's like, like 38 bucks or something and like my BB cream does all the same things and more and it's cheaper so it is very moisturizing though I will say that and it's very comfortable to wear the day that I wore it I literally forgot that I was wearing any makeup and it does have a smell but it's not unpleasant it almost sound, smells kind of lemony like a very faint lemon kind of smell it's kind of strange and I got the Smashbox uh, the green primer which is pointless to swatch because it doesn't have real, a real color to it I didn't notice anything significant about that either. It didn't seem to correct any of the redness I had or make my product go by, you know, go on any smoother or it just didn't really seem to do anything. Um, she also gave me the Smashbox primer, the hydrating one, which is a blue tinted one. Well, it's not really blue tinted, it's just blue colored. And this one actually I liked better than the green one. It has more of like a lotion consistency and it has a cooling effect. I don't know if they put eucalyptus in there but it kind of has that kind of sensation except not as severe. I want to say there was something else I got from there but I don't remember what it was. But anyway I had to go back because like I said I ended up returning the Urban Decay uh, foundation and through a lot of looking around I decided to get a couple of items. I got the just like a, a daily makeup brush cleaner. It's the Sephora brand. It was like eight bucks. I figured it'd be nice to have in between deep clean, you know, deep cleaning. And then I got the Urban Decay All Nighter Long Lasting Setting Spray. This is the travel size version, the smaller version, because the large version was like thirty bucks and. My skin's very sensitive and I don't know, I'm very picky about certain makeup items and I had a feeling that I might not like this and I actually don't. It just feels kind of uncomfortable, like it feels like I'm spraying hairspray on my face and I don't know, it's just, it's not horribly bad but it's just, I don't know, I'm not going to keep it, I'm actually going to swap it with somebody. And then I got something else like why do I feel like I'm missing something I think I got something else but I don't know where, what it is or where it is and it's gonna take too long for me to find but I'm pretty sure I had something else but neither here nor there I ended up going back again for a third time because I wanted to get this lip tar set that I had seen because I looked because I the reason I didn't get it the first time is because I wasn't sure I was gonna like the lip tar because I've tried lip tar one other time and I hated it but I found out there was a couple things I did wrong uh, namely not wearing a lip liner and using way too much product because you like I said you literally have to use the smallest amount of product because if you use too much it looks horrible it kind of rolls off of itself like like balls up it doesn't stay on at all it looks splotchy and uneven and it feathers horribly it's just really bad if you put too much on so thin thin layer so yeah I realized I liked the, the lip tar and when I went online to try to buy it online I couldn't find it anywhere because I guess it's a limited edition it was like from the spring or something and it's like been sold out everywhere I don't know if I just wasn't looking hard enough but I'm pretty sure I did a thorough search and I couldn't find it so I decided to go all the way back to see if they still had it in stock because I really did want it 
and it's the Primary Pack Lip Tar Set. And it's just a set of their primary colors, and essentially you can make any kind of color that you want if you mix it properly. You get a black, a red, a blue, a yellow, and a white, and then you also do get a full sized lip brush, which I'm super happy about because I really like the small one, the one that came with the mini lip tar, or not the mini lip tar, but it came with the lip tar, but you only get a mini with that, which I don't even think I mentioned, but it looks like that, it's just a smaller handle, but I really, really like this brush, like this brush, blah, this brush is amazing, it has you have a lot of control with it. Like I've tried several different lip brushes and didn't like any of them, but this one I really, really like. It's just the way that the tip is designed. It just, it comes to a point and it's flat and just gives you really precise application. So I highly recommend this brush. It's, I don't know, it just feels nice. And I think this brush alone is kind of expensive, so. I don't know. But anyway, you get a white, and they're all matte. And a, these don't look very big, like this compared to this. But you have to also realize that you're not going to use, well, most likely you're not going to use just this color. You're going to be mixing them. So, I don't know. It just lasts longer that way. And then also, you're using such a small amount of product, it really doesn't matter. Because like this thing, if this thing came in a smaller size, I would have gotten it because this thing will literally last like forever so I don't know but anyway you get a blue and they're just you know primary colors it's really nothing it's kind of self-explanatory this one's black and then your red and then my yellow is still in here but yeah it's it's really cool like I've done a couple different colors with it I did a coral color a dark kind of burgundy-ish color and a light blue color which I was trying to get a light purple but it still was kind of cool but it gives you like tips of like what shades like are created by mixing what colors kind of cool and there is a couple videos one by X Spark X Sparkage where she kind of goes into somewhat of a detail about it and I think she did like a separate blog or something about mixing them like specifically like what colors that she mixed and to get what so you can check her out as far as you know further information on this little thing but this was like I think $29 which is kind of pricey but for what you're getting like this essentially could replace all of your lip products like you would never have to buy a color again as long as you're good with mixing and whatever. Anyway, so I got that, um, and then I also got this Josie Moran Argan Oil, or Argan Daily Moisturizer, it has an SPF of 47, which is nice, and Sun Boost ATV, I have no idea what that means, but I'm guessing it's for extra protection in the sun, but I don't know, uh, yeah, it says I don't know, it just says it has great sun protection. But I really like argan oil, and now that winter's coming, oh, winter is coming, uh, it's just, my skin's getting really, really dry already, and it's not even that cold out yet, so I have to take extra measures to make sure my skin is hydrated, so I'm having to moisturize twice a day instead of just once, which I guess the Sephora lady said I should be doing twice a day anyway, but anyway. <laughs> Uh, I really liked this. One of the sales associates the second time showed this to me, and I didn't get it because I actually got another moisturizer in the mail, which I'm going to show you in a separate video, and I wanted to make sure I didn't like that, you know, a whole lot before getting another moisturizer, but I actually like this one a lot, and the other moisturizer I do like, but I'm going to use it in conjunction with this, but I don't know. It's got a relatively liquidy consistency. But, I don't know, it just feels really nice on the skin. It does have a slight, not greasy feel, but kind of oily. Like, if you've ever used an oil serum for your face, it kind of has 
a little bit of that kind of texture mixed with like a lotion consistency. So I don't know, I really like it and I like the fact that it has SPF in it and the argan oil because I like argan oil for pretty much everything, my hair, my face, my eyes. Like I use it to remove my eye makeup as like a better option than like a makeup wipe because makeup wipes are so drying at least on my skin and I don't know, I just found that the argan oil removes it really well and doesn't dry out my skin. It's also good for your eyelashes I believe. But anyway, that was that. I think this was $29 for two fluid ounces, which isn't bad. So that was that. And then because I've been going there way too much, I also qualified for another little bonus item. So I got this Tarte Lip Surgeon's Lip Gloss in Exposed. And I haven't really messed with this too much, but I thought it was adorable. And the higher pointed items I wasn't really interested in, so I just went ahead and turned in my points or whatever. And then a couple of other things I got, just sample wise, is I got the Smashbox Studio Skin 1.2. I haven't tried it yet, but it looks like a good match, and the consistency looks better than the Urban Decay one. I think I'll try it tomorrow. kind of forgot about it to be honest. And I haven't really been going out much since then. Cause I, I whoa, it's getting everywhere. Um, I had just went there on Monday, so it wasn't like that long ago. It was a couple days ago, so I haven't had a whole hell of a lot of time. And this shit is getting everywhere. <laughs> These little pots aren't very convenient. And this, uh, oh my god. Yeah. Um. <laughs> anyway. So that's the color. It does kind of look very yellow, but I guess that's my skin tone, so we'll see how well it matches. And then she also threw this one that I had no idea about. It's this Philosophy Margarita Shampoo slash Shower Gel. So I can't use scented body washes or heavily perfumed uh, shampoo, so I'll just use it for like a hand soap, but it smells really really good. It smells just like a margarita and I am a fan of the philosophy like lotions and all that. But anyway, that is it. If you have any questions, put them below. And